Hello marketers, the new trend that is research online and buy offline is setting up a new headache to marketers. This is causing huge difficulties in getting all those offline purchases influenced by their online marketing efforts getting attributed correctly. So this is leaving a huge gap in the customer journey and therefore they are left with incomplete and inaccurate marketing insights leading to wrong or bad decisions. For instance, the Robo Economy report, research online by offline report, reveals that 82% of smartphone users consult in store for all the purchases that they are about to make. Not just that, almost five dollars is spent for every single dollar they spend online following the online research. So, all those conversions that happen offline are missed out if you do not track these offline purchases inside Meta Ads. This results in an incomplete customer journey leading to a reduced conversion and therefore your ad campaigns are not trained with right data resulting in poor performance. To track all these offline conversions inside Meta Ads, Meta has launched the Facebook Offline Conversions API or the Meta Offline Conversions API. This is what we'll be talking about. Facebook Offline Conversions API is a complete guide for you to set it up correctly and coming to the primary question what are offline conversions so every conversion every purchase or whatever happens in the real world of the web is called offline conversion for example you can see let's say if a person uh, looks at an ad of an iphone 14 on facebook and then goes to the store in person in the real world the real store and purchases from the apple store the same iphone 14 then it is called an offline conversion that is triggered by the meta ad. So he saw the on ad, ad online and then he visited the store offline and made a purchase. So this is what is offline conversion. What is Meta Offline Conversions API? Meta Offline Conversions API helps you send this offline conversion data back to Meta on the server side through direct integration using Meta Conversions API. Now, what is the need for Meta Offline Conversion Tracking or Meta Offline Conversions API? Why should you even set up Meta Offline Conversions API? Number one, to give you the complete picture of customer journey and understand how the customer is interacting with your business on the web and off the web, this data is very much essential. This data helps Meta Ads also get a complete picture of your customer journey. Now, not just that, it will send the right signals to Meta Ads conveying the importance of each conversion. So, when you do this, Meta can also understand what kind of users or what kind of uh, people are resulting in conversions, what kind of clicks on the ads are resulting in conversions. Now it will optimize its ad campaign, ad algorithm in finding that relevant users. It also helps marketers like you understand the impact of your marketing campaigns. So let's say you're running a particular particular campaign for a, uh, for a let's say, um, Saris or you know uh, iPhone. Let's uh, let's see the same example of iPhone. You're running a campaign for iPhone. How do you measure the impact of that campaign? How do you measure the ROAS of that campaign? To do that, you need to set up offline conversion tracking so that you can attribute your purchases accurately back to Meta Ads, and Meta will be able to identify and give that cut conversion accurately to the campaign which resulted in the conversion. So next. It will also improve the overall conversions because you are also attributing your offline conversions. So whenever we talk about uh, sending in offline data to Meta Ads, people think it's just uploading offline event data. Generally, they'll think just uploading a custom audience into Meta works, but that's a myth. The reality is you need to send the e offline event data as an event and it should be continuous. I'll tell you why in the as the best practices, but yeah. If uh, so, how do you set it, set it up? So, if you are a hardcore developer who who can code across all the pages, you know, take take up the heading of uh, setting up the code across every single page, like hundreds of pages across your website, then you can set up offline conversions API and set up conversions API by yourself. And also, if you can code all that uh, between you know the data integration between your CRM or any other uh, platform that where you have all your offline customer data to you can set up the integration code you're happy to go i'll just show you how the coding looks 
for you. Until recently, with the Graph API version 16, marketers, I mean, the advertisers or marketers, if you have a developer support, they were able to set up offline convergence API uh, using this code. Okay, so like they, they just can code and uh, set it up. However, starting 2024, that, that's the coming third quarter Q3, you will not be able to use offline uh, API. So how do you send the offline event data to Meta? You can use the Convergence API. However, again, the Convergence API is sort of code that you need to set up across your website and also the integrated with Meta using the Convergence API setup. So this is a huge coding that so if you can code all of that, you can happily go set up Convergence API. However, I'm going to show a very easy way, a simple way to set up your offline Convergence API. So here you go. I'll, I'll just share. Actually, you can shut it up just a second. I'll just share my screen. Using Custom Labs 1PD Ops, you can set up Convergence API in under 10 minutes. The only prerequisite that you have is you need to configure your offline events associated with the data set. So that's the only thing and we'll help you out if you need help with that. And I'll show you how the video directly how offline convergence API is set up through, through customer labs. So here you go. With customer labs, you can do this with a click of a button. So I'll show you how all you have to do is go and click destination. If you have not connected your Facebook account, all you have to do is authenticate your Facebook account with custom labs. That's it. Now we are sending the offline conversions here. Click on offline conversions and click on setup event workflow. Now what you have to do is you just have to look for your event and here it is. Just turn on this toggle and you're good to go. Once this is done, you will be able to see the offline conversions reflected in your events manager in Facebook ad account. With Customer Labs, you can implement your Capy with no tech support and you see how easily I have done it. Thank you so much for watching this video. So that's how easily you can set up Meta Offline Convergence API. In the video, you can see she has toggled on the opportunity event. So what she did was she uh, configured the CRM event stage. So when bringing in the data from the CRM, the data in the opportunity stage is a conversion for that business. So she just sent that opportunity event directly with the uh, Facebook ads. That is the meta ads. So that's the easy way I was talking to you about. You can set it up under 10 minutes in the video. You just, you, you saw it as it didn't take even three to like one to two minutes. That, uh, that's the maximum that is because just sending part, the, the major part, why under 10 minutes is what I said is because the 10 minutes is to set up the source from where you're getting the data, your CRM, maybe configuring, configuring your CRM, it takes like around three to four minutes and then uh, uh, setting up the event workflow and all that will take around four to five minutes. So all that will take uh, time. So in total under 10 minutes, you can set up Capy. And if it is a Shopify website for your uh, online store for Convergence API, it is more easy. It will not even take uh, 10 minutes. So that's it, it all depends on multiple factors. So yeah, using custom lab CDP, you can set up Convergence API, Meta Convergence API for both online and offline data in less than under 10 to 20 minutes maximum. So either you set up the hardcore hard way that I've shared, if you have access to developer and if you are already a developer, you know, coding and etc. stuff, you set it up Capy by yourself or if you're setting up Convergence API through using customer labs, whatever it is, there are a certain best practice that you must follow. Number one, send the data within 48 hours that's the maximum i'm telling uh facebook has a long window but you never know when the uh, user has watched your ad online so it is better if you send the data within 24 hours also it is better it is more better if it is in near real time that is what meta recommends so send the offline conversion data as soon as possible as quickly as possible number two assign an external id so for all the conversions that all the users that land on your website through the ad or uh, all the thing that all the users data that you're sending from CRM to that, they should have an external ID. When you assign an external ID, it will be easy for Meta to match because the same user also has the external ID appended when they land on your website. Now you're sending the same user data with the same external ID from offline source. It will be easy for Meta to match and identify that user better. Now, 
capture all the customer interactions across multiple touch points and send it to Meta. So what I'm trying to tell is uh, your customer might uh, interact with your business on your website, on, on your offline store, where, it, where the data gets saved in the CRM, or you might also have it in the point of sale systems, or you might also have in your subscription systems. So all the data, uh, all the customer touch points should be merged into one single place and then send that data to Meta Ads for it to better get the complete picture of the customer journey. When you're sending the conversion data, ensure that also you're sending the value of that particular conversion. This helps Meta understand who is the high value customer and who is the low value customer. When you are making use of uh, maximize conversion value, sending this offline conversion data with value helps you. So when you when you are sending this uh, data, it's not just purchase data that you should send. You should also go beyond it and send, uh, you know, segmented more niche. So th this we have covered and want high OV, high AOV purchase this Shopify Cappy. I'll attach the link for that video in the description below. But what I wanted to tell you here is you, when you're sending the offline conversion data, that the purchase data, be it online and offline or offline, whatever it is, the purchase data should not be sent just as a purchase event. Go beyond and segment it as high AOV purchase, mid OV purchase, low AOV purchase. That is the average order value, high average order value, mid average order value, low average order value. That is one uh, you can go beyond go go for it the other one is uh, categories not all your purchase purchases are of same value for example you might have shoe accessories that is shoe you might have uh, belts you might also have clothes now clothes have a different kind of customers uh, and shoe has a different kind of customers and belts have a different kind of customer if you are optimizing your ad campaign by sending just the purchase event Meta will try to bring more purchases. It might bring in more of a clothes, more of a shoe or more of belt. You don't know. It depends on the data. Now, when you segment this purchase data into three different things and for the shoe campaign, you can optimize using the shoe purchase data. For the belt campaign, you can optimize using the belt purchase data. For the clothes uh, campaign, you can optimize with the cloth campaign data. Now, if you want to do cross selling, for people who bought, uh, I mean, for when you want to do cross selling, when you're optimizing for the, let's say you're, you want to cross sell shoe to customers who purchased belt. Now you can use the belt date, belt purchased customer data for shoe campaign as well. So you can, you can have multiple things. Therefore optimize not just for purchase, but also go beyond uh, your purchase event. Next. When you're sending email address, phone number, gender, date of birth, first name, last name, city, zip code, etc. data, you need to hash it and send it to meta ads. But lead ID that you get from the lead ads should never be hashed. Next, send all the required and recommended parameters to meta ads. For example, one such event parameter is action, so action underscore source event parameter. This must be sent for the offline conversions that happen. Also ensure that you are uh, refreshing the FBP and FBC parameters regularly and sending it to meta ads because the FBC and FB, FBP parameters get refreshed at uh, regular intervals. So make sure you capture them in real time and send it back to meta in real time. That's what uh, meta means by sending the sharing the events in closer to real time. So if you can't send it in real time, at least make sure you have hardly uh, sync of data with Meta through Convergence API. Next, keep checking your event match quality regularly. For offline con for online Convergence API, it is available for every advertiser. But when it comes to offline Convergence API, it is currently under beta or alpha stage. Therefore, it might not be available to you to check the event match quality for the offline conversion data. However, if you want to get this done, contact your meta representative and they'll help you figure out uh, how to identify and how to uh, make your uh, offline conversion data sync better. So th those are all the best practices that you should follow if you're going to set up Facebook offline conversions API. So to sum it up, send all your offline and online customer data to Facebook through Convergence API for a improved ad campaign performance. We have seen how it will help you improve ad campaign performance by training its ad algorithms with the right data without having any signal loss when you make use of server-side uh, Facebook Convergence API.
so that's it thank you thank you for listening and i hope this is very much uh, have been helpful for you if you have any doubts uh, comment below or you can uh, join our community at community.customlabs.com wherein you can discuss any doubts you have we'll be sharing resourceful uh, material over there and we'll also be sharing our latest updates uh, on product features and also what's happening around meta ads what's new and how you can improve your ad campaign performance so now let's move on to a few faqs before we end so first question can you upload offline conversions to facebook yes you can upload offline conversions to make uh, facebook but make sure you do not upload it as a custom audience and think that you are sending offline data to facebook and facebook is able to attribute that data accurately to ad campaigns it is better that you upload the offline conversions as an event so use facebook offline conversions api or facebook conversions api to send all your offline conversion data to facebook now next question how to track offline conversions on facebook until now facebook has used separate offline conversions api to send offline events however i have showed you that how the new graph api version 17 it is not possible for you to leverage offline conversions api because it will not support offline events anymore therefore you have only one option to use that is the conversions api to sync your offline events to meta along with your online event next how much does meta conversions api cost meta conversions api is a totally free integration offered by meta if you have uh, coding knowledge you can just make use of meta's documentation and set it up i have showed you the documentation in the video if you want that uh, please let us know in our community and we'll share you that uh, resource for the uh, setting up conversions api all by yourself to you now however um, some develop if you don't have if you don't know the coding knowledge and if you're hiring a developers they might charge you for setting up this uh, integration between your server and meta for the meta conversions api but when you are using tools like customer labs one pd ops it is totally free to set up conversions api and sync the data to meta you don't have to pay a single penny to send the data from your system to i mean from custom labs to meta there's a simple toggle on as i've showed you that toggle on is totally free the only cost you'll be paying is for tracking all the website event data so when you are uh, uh, you know bringing in data from your crm to custom labs or when you're bringing in data from your website to custom labs that's where the costing part is and it's totally cost efficient because it is we, we are uh, our main aim is to democratize this entire system for marketers like you so once all your website event data is tracked and your data from the crm is also bought into the system uh, and also from other different places like subscription system and also the csv upload this is one advantage uh, wherein you can directly upload your csv file for conversions that happen offline if you do not have a crm and merge all of this data together and send this data not just to meta ads but across five different marketing tools for the basic plan so you can send the uh, data to meta ads and the data to google ads you can send it to gfo you can send it to clavio or mailchimp for email marketing you can also send the data to whatsapp through our lime chat integration so next how do i know if my co facebook conversions api is working to know if your Facebook offline conversions API is working or the Facebook conversions API is working correctly, navigate to your events manager and check the event match quality of the server side events and how effectively the data is sent through the conversions API. That will give you a clear picture and clear understanding of if your Facebook conversions API is working or not. I hope this is very much helpful and I've covered everything. If you still feel I'm missing out anything, Feel free to comment below this video or reach out to us uh, on our community and we'll be happy to help you. Thank you. Uh, by the way, so all the links, relevant links of community, the video, how, how to set up conversions API and uh, a link to book a demo with us or uh, trial sign up, the free trial sign up, whatever, all those will be available in the description.